Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on NCAA 14 for the Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty today taking on University Louisiana Monroe Where are they the Warhawks? I want to say anyway, uh, apparently this is the semester's first test. I don't know if I agree with that Because we just took on Notre Dame LSU Duke Houston This is our Sun Belt opener though, which is cool. However, I'm still, like, really upset about the LSU loss. They are the Warhawks. We're going to come out here and we're going to beat them. We can hang with LSU, clearly. We can hang with Notre Dame. We've been able to play a lot of these top teams really, really well, except for Houston, who we did not play well. And the LSU game was just so frustrating because I had so many technical difficulties while recording that that I ended up playing the game, like, three times because the first time... I was looking like I was going to win, and of course, my computer freezes, as it does with the Elgato program occasionally. It's super frustrating when it does it. It's so, so frustrating. There are some uh, visiting prospects today on the offensive line, so we're going to try and uh, just dominate offensively, I suppose. And is that did Shane Buchel transfer from Texas to ULM? The hell, anyway... My computer froze, and then I was re-recording. I got to about the third quarter. That was a really close game again. And, of course, I didn't re-enable my microphone after my computer restarted. Because I had to power it off on the freeze. As you can see, the current Sunbelt standings. We're 2-3. and three. We've had a very, very tough schedule. I think we're the best team in the Sunbelt. We are going to compete heavily for a conference championship. I think we can do it. We are very close. A win over ULM today would be huge because it would accelerate us up the rankings quite a bit. Anyway, we can't act like this is, a you know, just some game. We got to come in, play ULM at our home, at Dual Field, the saloon, and beat up the Warhawks. Let's go to war. But yeah, so final note on the LSU game last week. It was just so frustrating not only because we lost in... Maybe the most depressing way I've ever lost in anything in my entire life. Anything. Any single, uh, single thing you could win or lose. That was the most depressing loss I think I've ever had in anything. And the fact that it also took hours to record and I had to redo it a couple times only to still lose. It just demoralizing. As Buchel's going to go right at me initially to Brennan Bradley for 18. That was a quick throw. And they're going to run hurry up. Great. Looks like their quarterback is Garrett Smith, not Buchel. You know, he wouldn't be eligible because he transferred. So their quarterback today is going to be Garrett Smith. No Buchel, but we'll see him next year. Good tackle by Sandoval Slaughter. Going to the flat. Luckett gets it. And Luckett is breaking every single possible tackle. 19 yards on what could have been two. I got to go adjustments here at the next available opportunity. I need to get these guys going conservative tackling. Wrap up. Put in tarnation and it's read option. Oh my God. Our defense still sucks. Also, somebody told me in the comment section to play way more man defense. So we are going to try that as Derek Higgins is just nowhere close. We're going to try to play some more, man. If it's going to be better, that's what I'm looking for. It's read option. Smith is wrapped up in the backfield. That's Byron Fulton. Good tackle. Conservative. Conservative. Aggressive. Option defense. Well, we're going to focus on the quarterback. QB contain. Um, we'll probably play to stop the quarterback scramble. Handoff. Great tackle. Is that Mark Keith Ralph or Daryl Bradford? Was that number 98? It was tough to say. I think it was 98. So that is the senior, Mark Keith Ralph. And it is third and 12. No, I don't want that. I don't want zone. I want man now. 
We're stuck in zone coverage. Just check down. That's wide open in the end zone and off his hands. Oh my goodness. We just got back to it with uh, Derek Higgins to make the play. ULM going to settle for a field goal try, which uh, I assume is going to be good here, as they pretty much always are. And that one is no exception. Right down the middle nearly. As Georgia Tech is in a tough one with Miami. Cal beats Colorado. We'll keep an eye on some of these games over the course of this one. But the Ozark State offense is coming out. Colby Spencer, let's get it. Colby Spencer had some hell of a game last week. And it was just a fumble that killed us. I haven't uploaded that video yet. I'm afraid to because it's just such, such a way to lose that game. It really is. As we're going to throw that downfield. Spencer has the arm, and it's Roland Francisco. One man to beat, and he can't do it, but 70 yards on the huge gain. Way to throw that. Oh, my goodness, what a pass. But, uh, yeah, it was just such a defeating loss, and it's the way we lost where I know we probably should have been running the ball with Scott Lewis, but Scott Lewis wasn't in the game. We had Darren Maxwell. I chose to go with the pass because it was working well. And, of course, Colby Spencer fumbled. This time, he navigates his way into the end zone for an 11-yard rushing touchdown as our offense is looking unbelievable. But, yeah, that's the last one to say about the LSU game in this video. Just super frustrating loss, I'm aware. I'm sure I'm going to get torn a new one for it. How do we lose that game? Here's the handoff. Trying to get over there. Great tackle. That's number 24, Tariq Parrish, the strong safety. I like that. Smith going to try and run. Nowhere to go on the scramble. It's Jeff Fisher, the middle linebacker on the inside blitz. And he just made a nice play. That's also great from Colt 45, Colt Nash, to force him back to the inside. Smith looks like he's going to throw deep. And that is going to be intercepted by the outlaw, Chris Outlaw. He tried to lay the block there with Tariq Parrish. And that's a great play by the defense. Looks like this man coverage thing's working out. Great stuff from Chris Outlaw. Good positioning. We're going to scramble here. Can Scott Lewis not do that, please? Get out of my way. I know I see why. We're going to settle for B, though. That's Karan Kirkpatrick. Number one in the field, number one in your heart. Picking up the first down. We're going to go over the top. That's wide open. What is the defense doing? Quincy Russ, 33-yard touchdown as we have been perfect. Colby Spencer, 3 for 3 for 115 and a touchdown. Yeah, ULM has no answer. They're just not good enough. Here's a pitch. Get out there, Blankenship. Yeah, I still have no idea how to wrap up. I try to strafe, but it just doesn't, doesn't work for me. Let's play action. Smith going to take off. That's unfortunate. That's a big gain as well. Oh, my goodness. 22 yards on the rush. Play action. A sword's intercepted. Kachow. It's Lightning McQueen. And he is lightning fast to the end zone. 10, 5, touchdown. It's a pick six for number 95, Rory Lightning McQueen. And we're going to take a 21-3 lead. I like this man coverage thing. This could be working out well for us. Smith going to lob it up. And that's complete. No, it's not. It's off his hands and dropped. Oh, my goodness. We are catching breaks here. Third down and eight. They have not had a third down conversion thus far. And Smith going to take off. They'll finally get it. 14-yard pickup by Garrett Smith. We're trying to st uh, stop the QB scramble, but... They're still managing to find a way. Smith going to take off. And he's going to rush for another first down. How do we stop the quarterback runs? Smith going to take off again. How do we have an answer for this? We don't. I don't know what we're supposed to do. He's averaging eight yards per carry. Already taken off eight times. It's the first quarter. 
That's the only way they're moving the football, and we still don't have an answer for it. We're just going to have to play exclusively defenses with a quarterback spy in there. And I guess we're going to be coming out in this one quite a lot, and it works really, really well. Lightning McQueen, great tackle for loss. Kachow. He's having a great game. Get out there, Fisher. Collins breaks a tackle. Can't pitch it. Goes down in the backfield for another loss. This one is a loss of four by Byron Fulton, the nickel cornerback safety hybrid. And it's going to be third down and long. Going deep. And it's complete. Reagan Higgins, or Reagan Heddens. As uh, that's the first completed pass they have the entire game. And, they, you know, deep within, you know, relative to the field. That's just, that's a really tough thing to give up. It's a read option. Handoff goes to Luckett. And Ben Luckett finds the end zone for the touchdown. ULM not done fighting here. They're going to come back a little bit here. Make it within 11, I would imagine. Make a two touchdowns. Or a field goal and a touchdown with a two-point conversion. That's, uh, what a ridiculous decision. I just... We've made plays like that work in the past. And... It, it, just a, a super foolish decision to make that throw. Uh, especially when we had space to run. Just absolutely ridiculous decision. Over the middle! How does he hold on to that? To run. Just wrap up. No one can tackle this Luckett character. It's another run. There we go. The Carter 5. Lil Wayne goes down after a gain of 4. And ULM will set up for that field goal. Now it's just going to be a touchdown and a 2 point conversion. And they can tie this thing up. We just... I can't make mistakes like that on offense. Against a really good team, I mean, that's the game right there. All it takes is one mistake. We saw that against LSU. We're facing a lot of pressure, and we're just going to throw it away. I still think it's four down territory with his offense, but I don't know. I think we definitely have to get Scott Lewis more involved, but it's hard when you have such a good playmaker in Colby Spencer. I just want to, you know... Score quickly with the quarterback. But we're going for it on fourth down. I don't think I am going to run the ball, though. If it is, it's going to be a scramble with Colby Spencer. This is a good play. Defense is pretty wide open. Should be able to fit something in. And that is wide open. It's Rob Gaither. He'll break a tackle as well. There we go. Second and one. Look at the speed of Scott Lewis. There's a really good block. Tried to swerve it back around. It's going to be back-to-back nine-yard pickups for the running back. Karanker Patrick wide open. We're lobbing it up to him. That's completed, and it's a touchdown. Number one beats number one for the ULM Warhawks. Whoever that cornerback is, he's got to work on his technique a little bit because he just got absolutely torched by double K. KK there, Karan Kirkpatrick. There we go. Hand off to Luckett. He just breaks tackles every single time he touches the ball. He's a pretty good player, I'd say. He's going to take off and slide. I, I just can't tackle in space. It's it's tough. Throwing short. Of course, it's going to be Luckett on third down that beats us. Third and two. We're sending heat. And it's going to be an option of sorts. And Smith is going to fall forward and come an inch or two short. What are they going to do here? Ooh, looks like they're going to go for it. Probably the right decision. We're going to send heat. Do we want to commit to anything here? They're in a gun set. One running back. Easily could be a run, though. It's not. He's going to roll out. He's going to try and backpedal, and he finds space. He backtracks and picks up the first down. 11-yard gain for the quarterback. And uh, he's just scrambling all over us. Fullback dive. Hagen. He's fighting guys off, but he's going sideways. He's fighting them off horizontally. What are you doing? Up, 
and it goes to him again. This time, he's got the easy touchdown. We just had no answer for that. Colby Spencer's got space and blocks, and we're going to slide easy, pick up the first down. This is a close game. This is a really close game. ULM is, is playing pretty well. They're tough to stop. I, we just had so many different options there that I wanted to throw to, but just didn't really trust. So we're going to just play it safe. Third and four. We're actually 0 for 1 on third down today. Kind of weird considering how successful our offense has been. We haven't had a lot of third down uh, attempts even. Only one, but here's Rob Gaither. We get that one easy, and we're going to step out of bounds. Still can't get over how stupid that interception was a, a little bit earlier. It just was super, super bad. We have Scott Lewis open, and he's got an easy touchdown. Just too easy. We're a lot faster, it seems. Like, our fastest players are faster than ULM's fastest players. Colby Spencer's got speed in the 90s. Scott Lewis is 95 speed. Like, we got some burners out here. What a way to end the first half. We're going to start this third quarter off with a bang. And we're going to send some guys deep. Colby Spencer probably can't make that throw. Uh, had to come back for it. It's just, he just doesn't quite have the arm for that. I know I waited on it a lot. I couldn't tell if we were going to get separation there. And clearly just not quite enough early enough. Jesus. I, it's just, it's very frustrating to see open receivers and not think you can make the throw and then look for other options. That play was terrible. It really, really was. I'm not sure how that drive went so far downhill so quickly. These are good learning experience games, though. Because they're teams that aren't too tough. We can figure out what we're doing wrong and how to correct them when we face real powerhouses. Now, that's not to say that this game is anywhere close to over because it very much isn't. Now they have fantastic field positioning with the football, obviously. And uh, a chance to make us pay and bring it back into uh, a one-touchdown game. We need to step up. Fisher up the middle, obviously. Not going to be able to tackle him there. Because that's just not how it works. Throw it to me! No! Give me a user pick animation. It's pitch. And it is... Uh, I don't think he was going to get tackled there initially. How is luck at breaking all these cycles? Who is this? It's a pitch. Wrap him up. Great tackle in space. That's the strong safety, Tariq Parrish. ULM converts on the field goal attempt. And we need to desperately break away. We just can't screw up on offense the way we have this game. Just against better teams, they will be far more unforgiving. Third and inches. Francisco in motion. We have Scott Lewis wide open. And he's going to break a tackle. Juke passed another one. And Scott Lewis nearly seeing daylight. What a run. What a run. Of course, it was a catch out of the backfield. But his individual effort was incredible there. Colby Spencer, you, you are disgusting. We're throwing that ball. And that is just a great play by the defensive back, really. That's all I can say about that. He's recovering from getting torched earlier. Wide open. Colby Spencer hits his man. It's Jake Rodriguez for a 15-yard touchdown. He's been getting very involved lately, it seems. The Pedro Goddard to Jake Rodriguez connection was not there, but this Colby Spencer to Jake Rodriguez combo is deadly. Gene up the middle, and Dante Jean actually is his name. Can't wrap up. This Ben Luckett guy is, like, he's worse than Leonard Fournette, obviously, but he's more annoying because it's like he didn't win the Heisman last year. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they ran play action on that, and Outlaws beat. Finally makes a tackle from behind, but ULM just give up already. Smith going to run. Oh my god, bro. That's a great, great broken tackle, you idiot. Duke Carter, the fifth. Good tackle by Dante Jean. 
But uh, who hit him first? That was Lightning McQueen. And that's right at me. You dick. Regan Heddens has a 13-yard touchdown. ULM is just... They won't go away. Get outside the pocket, Colby. We're just throw it away. Okay, I was... Uh, wow, all right. Bad almost. Another third down. We're four for six on third down so far today. I kind of want to streak Rob Gaither. We don't really have any burners at wide receiver. So these streaks haven't been super effective for us. But the tight end has been Jake Rodriguez. Another big gain for him. He just keeps getting wide open on that Z spot. Nobody covers him on that corner route. Oh, Rodriguez is wide open. What are you doing, Warhawks? Diving catch by the tight end. What a beast. And that's a school record. The fifth passing touchdown in a game for Colby Spencer. That's what I'm talking about. We just keep lighting up the scoreboard. We might even drop 50 this game. Wow, what a throw and catch. This game's still, unfortunately, not over. Okay, Blankenship. Okay, Robeson. Who are these guys over at ULM, dude? They don't go down. I hate Heisman. Smith gonna try and take off. You already know. Smith gonna take off. We're trying to get there. He slides. Time is ticking, though. Clock is moving. It's a run, and it's a touchdown. Duke Carter goes right up the middle. It's a good blocking scheme. Damn. They just will not go away. I don't think there's time for them to come back, but it just they won't stop fighting. Onside kick is recovered by the fullback, Hairston. And they are really going for that football. Great option. Colby Spencer takes it. We're not sliding this time. I really wish he was a little bit more durable so we could survive these hits and I could try and break tackles and juke people out. But I'm just, I just get nervous with him. I don't want him to get injured. Another read option. Decent blocking in this game, I think, is in the books. ULM has no more timeouts. I want to get Colby Spencer over 100, though. Third and four. And that is going to be a fourth down non-conversion. It's not really a, a saying, but we're going to go for it. Again, I want the yardage. Just to pad the stats against the Sun Belt rival. Fourth and inches. Let's get it. Colby Spencer, decent juke, and he should be over 100 now on 11 yards. And that is the game. What a game for Colby Spencer. What a game for the Ozark State Outlaws. So yeah, Colby Spencer, obviously, like, he was the lifeblood of the team. He is the team. Guys that played great today, Jake Rodriguez, Lightning McQueen, um... And, of course, Colby Spencer. Scott Lewis had a really good game as well. He was involved heavily out of the backfield as a pass catcher. Even made some nice plays uh, running the ball as well. Colby Spencer was just an absolute monster. Besides the one stupid interception, how great was he today? Scott Lewis, also decent, but he really made his mark as a pass catcher. 36 yards and a touchdown. Jake Rodriguez, three catches, 81 yards, and two TDs. Karan Kirkpatrick had a touchdown. Quincy Rust even had a touchdown. And then defensively, um, we just got to get better. Only one sack. A lot of tackles for loss. And then a couple of interceptions, which is rare for us. We usually don't have any. I just want to get more pressure on the quarterback. We're going to work for that in the future. But that's going to do it for me in this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.